One of your favorite thing is duck, right? Absolutely, I love duck. And one of your favorite recipe, the one that I'm going to do. Skillet duck. Skillet duck that I've done for you, but we're doing it with sweet potato, glazed shallots, mm. and with a honey sauce. Oh, you know? that sounds wonderful. We have the skin from the neck here, and we're going to cut this into pieces and use it to saute the duck. The duck is only cut into four pieces. You know? So, I cut that in half. Mm. And after... I cut the other piece in half, you, right? You want? Okay. Well, you know, you, know, you know where you cut it. Lift yeah. it up like that. No, no, go more in that direction. Put to it straight down this. That's right. That's it. Okay, that goes into the stock. That goes into the stock. If we put it in there, and that we leave it in this big we're gonna piece keep, like this. We're going to put this in there? Yeah. Okay. That goes into the stock. And this, the extra skin here, I want you to cut it into pieces again to add to this. We're going to do a bit of a braised duck. And by this, I mean we're going to cook the duck in the south of France, what we call confit. It's cooked with the fat of the duck. Mm -hmm. The end of this. So, I have four pieces of duck here. The four pieces of duck, the two breasts, the two legs with the bone underneath, mm -hmm. and then those two extra little pieces. That's Very what we thing. are going to brown, not only brown, brown and braise. So, that goes in there too. Duck fat is one of the best to Thanks. saute potato. In the whole and world. To do. And in the south of France, southwest of France rather, that's where they did that study of the French paradox. It's where people live the longest in France. They don't really use that much olive oil. All they use is butter. They use poultry fat, goose, duck fat, and so forth. So, and paper on top of this. This will brown in there. It will brown only on the skin side. So now the duck is cooking. And as I say, 16, 18 minutes on one side, on the side, you know, eh? this, we never turn the duck. Even after it's brown, we're gonna cover it and cook it like this. By covering up, it's going to create steam. So now, and on very low heat, so it's going to steam and cook. So with that, we are doing sweet, sweet potato. potatoes and yams. Yeah, sweet potato and yam. And here, you see you have this we are peeled. I know you don't like your peeled. No, not really. But this I we like are the peeled. skin. It's not a lazy thing. I just like the skin. Right. So you can cut your sweet potato in slice as we've done here. Uh -huh. Or then your sweet potato into slice like this. So yams two, two types of sweet potato. We call them yam sweet potato. They're What's actually the two types of sweet potato. One is orange and the other one is there. We put that under cold water, bring it to a boil, and boil it for like four or five minutes. I mean, this is still hard, but it's halfway cooked. So now we're gonna start browning it. I put a little piece of butter in there. Including you can arrange them in this. Okay, I got it. Yeah. And uh, what we are going to do there is to arrange them in slice, a couple of each. That you want to brown them very nicely, salt, pepper, you put salt, paper, yeah. okay? Okay, good, thank you. A beautiful honey there. Mm. Now you're gonna put this, the honey in to cook? Yeah, I think you put that honey in there. <laughs> we can, can lower that. Well, that's good, like that. Okay. And next, the shallot. I have some shallot with water here. Mm -hmm. So here is what we do here, you can peel one. So, is this going to be instead of the pearl onions? Uh, yes, it's I mean, a traditionally, you know, Christmas. Well, we do the shallot. Yeah, glazed shallot like that is very I like good shallots good. much better than pearl onions, yeah? I have to say. They're also a lot easier to peel. I like both. Doesn't you think so? Yeah, easier to peel? Yep. So this goes into a little bit of water. The idea here is to boil it at high temperature I'll put some salt in there. You want to put a little bit of butter in there, Claudine. 
Not enough? Uh, yeah. And then sugar. That did not sound convincing. No, that, that, yeah, that's plenty. It's perfect. And what will happen here? We boil it for a few minutes until it starts getting slightly tender. Mm -hmm. Then you remove the lid. And then? Whatever liquid is left, you boil it on high heat without the lid. It disappears, you're going to be left with the butter and the sugar, and it's going to create a caramel, and they are going to glaze in the caramel. You can do that with carrot, you can do that with other vegetables. Mm. What I'm going to start now is the sauce for the duck. Yeah, it's sauce for the duck, we're going to do what we call a gastric, which is a caramel really, but with vinegar and sugar. It's very acidic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Every we'll time I vinegar. deglaze something with vinegar, I'm always way too close to the pan. Yeah, it's bad. It is bad, it is yeah. bad, yeah. So we're gonna boil this. And that will be added to the stock. What we have actually done with the bone, we brown the bone in a, in a saucepan like this, and then after they are nicely brown, a bit of carrot, onion, thyme, bay leaf, water, boil it three, four hours, Strain it, you have about four cups of stock, and then reduce the stock to two cups, cup and a half, two cups, to have what we call a demi-glace here, you know, which is that mixture of stock. So demi-glace is, is nice reduced stock. It's a reduced stock, that's it, a reduced brown stock. And to that extent here, it doesn't even have any, here, taste it, doesn't even have any salt or anything in it, right? No, but I can still, I can really yeah, taste the carrots there is no and salt. it's very intense. Okay, now, my, I want to show you this, you see? see oh, brown. yeah. And the, 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 the skin shrinks, you yeah. know, considerably. You're still going to leave it uncovered? We still leave it uncovered, well, a little more, and then we cover it for 35 minutes. Now the glaze is there, let's see whether we can turn this. It's starting browning. Mm -hmm. oh, we want to glaze them maybe a bit longer. Huh? Is it going to glaze more on the on the honey side, or are you going to put honey on the other side when you turn The honey is inside now. I just put honey like that, so mm -hmm. it goes all over. Maybe I'll cover it. So you see that? And what about the, the, um, the shallots? They're boiling. The shallots are boiling. So now the shallot. They're getting tender? A little bit, yeah, but I think okay. they're trying to get a little bit more tender. Well, at that point, I'll remove that. Okay. And now we start boiling this. And let's see the gastric here. It's not quite a caramel. We still have to wait a couple of minutes for that. Now look the outside here. It's turning into caramel, uh -huh. caramelizing. And that's basically what you want, you know? Wow. Then, uh, I didn't think it would turn brown. You see this here? So well, almost done. no more liquid gone. Yeah. So we start reducing the stove that's going to start glazing also. So I'm reducing the heat a little bit. So I don't want it burned, but I want to turn them into, you know, that caramelization here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is much darker even, which is the way I want it. So we'll put the stock in it. Oh. That's a good smell. Good smell, huh? A little bit of honey. Even though I have sugar there, see we're doing a, a sweet sauce there. And then I have a little bit of starch here. If I want to thicken it lightly. Do you want some water? I can put water, wine. Vinegar? Oh, no, no, not vinegar now. Water. Your vinegar would be, uh, wouldn't be good with the vinegar now. So there, what happened is that as soon as this touch, it thicken. I think the way you thicken things is not the way a lot of people think of as thicken. I mean, it's a really light thickening. It's well, not like making gravy. You I know? just want it to be slightly oily. That's it. And then a dash of salt, because remember there is no salt in there. Yep. Stir it and pepper. taste it. Want a little bit of pepper? Yeah, you taste it. Yeah, you see? Yeah, a little bit of pepper. Yeah. Okay. It's hot. It's hot. Now, 
So this is finished, the sauce is finished. Now this is glazing, you see? Perfect. So it's going to glaze all of that all around. And this what about is the sweet potatoes? The sweet potato are also glazing, you know, much more beautiful like on one side and then the other side with the honey, you see? Okay. And, and at now, what point do you cover that? About now. Yeah. Let me see what it looks like. You see how Ooh. dark it is? The whole beautiful and dark like that. Mm -hmm. So now it's still on the skin. I'm gonna cover it. Okay. Lower the heat to very low. And you don't want to open it, that will create steam, very low heat, and we put it about 45 minutes now. Okay, you can see now, Claudine, it's cooked. See? Yeah. It's pretty tender. Mm -hmm. It's braised. And if you do that ahead, what you want to do is to take the bone out, as I'm going to do it here, and the, the carcass like this. And that, theoretically, when I do that, I put that back into the stock which is cooking for the, the sauce, you know? I mean, you can serve it with the bone, but it's a bit nicer. And you may say, why don't you take the bone at the beginning of? Well, well, it pr it protects the meat. The meat stays very moist and all that, protected by the carcass. And also it gives better flavor, don't you think? Yeah, it gives better flavor too. You can even trim a bit of the fat. And then let's prepare a plate for okay. that. Here we go, we have a beautiful platter. Yeah, Claudine, this is clean. Put that on top here. All right, so this would be for two. We do a duck for four, you know? Mm. That little piece of wing there, which is really good. Around, you know, let's put four. That's more than enough. Okay, we glaze shallots in the middle. A large glazed shallot. You can do that, of course, individual plate, you know, it's fine. You put a bit of sauce on top. If you want, you want nappe, yeah? On the meat, like this, you know? Okay, you want to put a dash of parsley in the center for would color? You, would you like there to be a dash of parsley there? Okay. And here we have the braised duck with glazed shallot and honey sweet potato. <laughs>